What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. Today, we're going to take a look at the Ace Stone Overdrive. And uh, I don't know a whole lot about this thing. So let's dive into it, shall we? All right, so today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Ace Stone Overdrive. Uh, it's green. It's got three knobs. And I'm going to guess it's probably based on a Tube Screamer. Uh, this one's kind of beat up. It is pretty old. Uh, I guess you would say by today's standards. Uh, the company itself, let's talk about that for a minute. So the company itself is called A-Stone or As-Stone. Um, they are from uh, Spain, I believe, if I remember correctly when I looked it up. Uh, the company started around 2016 and they are no longer in business as of mid to late 2018. So a very short lifespan uh, for a pedal company. Um, but I'm going to guess that this is probably based on, you know, some kind of a Tube Screamer variant. Now, this is actually from, well, it's not really from Truck Driver Sean, but Sean is the one who sent this out to me. Um, it's from the uh, the November event, the guitar giveaway that Deviant Guitars was doing, uh, and that was a part of that gift package. And so, anyways, uh, it's, you know, it's cool, Sean, let me borrow it, and uh, we're going to check it out, so... We'll plug it up, do some riffs, kind of get a feel for it. And, uh, you know, we'll come back and we'll talk about it. And today's rig, we're going to actually use my Weller's Rat Rod. As you guys can see, this used to actually be Truck Driver Sean's. I bought it from Sean. Uh, it's just a great guitar. I enjoyed it when I played it a couple of times. And, um, you know, he, when he decided to let it go, I decided to jump on it and, uh, and buy it. This thing is just it's an incredible guitar. So we have a Arcane Ink Ultratron in the bridge. So we're going to take the rat rod and we're going to go into the A Stone Overdrive. We're going to put that into the Friedman that you see in the background there. And we're going to see how well it does, you know, with that kind of a setup. Uh, I kind of going for, I don't know, we'll see. I don't really know what we're going to do. We're definitely not going for high gain metal. Um, so stick around for some nonsense and let's go.
you guys so that is going to be the a stone overdrive um let's kind of talk about it a little bit so my first impressions is that it is definitely a lot lower output than i was expecting uh for like a tube screamer variant uh so i don't know if it's like a ts9 or 808 or you know what have you but it's very i would say this kind of reminds me more of like a blues breaker almost um I don't know, man. There's just, it's not quite as high output as I was expecting. So that being said, uh, the way I dialed it in, as you previously heard, I did notice that the pedal is a little more creamy sounding. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. It's not as, you know, brittle or sharp or ice picky on the top end like most Tube Screamers kind of are. A lot of times I dial the tone back uh, to about 10 or 11 o'clock on my, um, my tube screamers. Um, and for whatever reason, I was pushing this one, like almost maxed out at some time. And it just, I don't know, it, there's not a lot of high gain output on this thing. So what I found worked best for me was driving up the, or turning up the drive knob more and, uh, kind of rolling back the level knob instead of using that like a tube screamer would. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty cool pedal. Um, I don't remember. I think this was donated by Schmitty on the uh, the guitar giveaway or the Movember giveaway that happened uh, November of last year, if you guys were a part of that or not. But um, anyways, yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool pedal overall. It, like I said, it's a little bit on the weak output side. And um, I don't know. It's a cool thing to check out. Again, the company is A-Stone, A-Stone. I think they're from Spain. Uh, you know, it has a shorter lifespan on the company itself, but, uh, kudos to truck driver, Sean, for letting me borrow another pedal of his. Um, yeah, man. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought, and we'll see you in the next one.